Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Sitting outside enjoying a lovely spring day. <laughs> it's freaking cold. It's a little colder today. We're gonna get like five inches of snow tonight, I guess, back into Minnesota. I'm still coming down from a cold. I had no voice, so everybody was loving life that I had no voice. Another gift beer. Pete brought it back from his trip to Vermont. Vermonster from Rock, Rock Art. Art. So where, where are they? Uh, good question. I visited the place and now I can't even remember. They're Morrisville, Vermont. Another place that's out in the middle of nowhere. Kind yeah, of. they really are very much out in the middle of nowhere, up in the up in the hills. 28th of November of last year, we're guessing, with the notches on it. Uh, 110 pounds of malt per barrel and jacked up the hops to 100 IBU. So this is going to be a nice with 10% ABV. Yep, it's did American you, barley wine. Did you sample it while you're out I, there? I, I did not. Okay. Oh, so he's not. coming in clean. <laughs> and he's got a bottle of the uh, barrel aged as yes, well. Yes, the barrel aged version. So uh, we're letting sit for a little while longer. I have no. By the way, it's only 45 or 50 degrees cooler here today than it was for me yesterday. Yeah, Pete just came <laughs> back from Florida. Knucklehead, jeez. Watching a little baseball. Oh God, I can <laughs> I can smell the hops. Oh my. Even through your cold. Oh, even through my cold. Wow. Actually, it's just all in my throat. It's all, uh, I just lost my voice. Everybody will love it. So, or I'm hitting puberty again. You never know. Yeah, it's oh, about I steal even, too much? even poor, oh, I'd say, huh? Turn it right. God, the hops are, whatever it was, I, when I get my nose there. down, I get the malt. Up here, I'm getting this hoppy. The hoppies, the hops bubble off the. Yeah. But you get a little caramel when you poke your nose down in I, it too, I do, you? yeah. That caramel, that malt, but there is a hot presence in there. Any guess what they were using? Did they have anything up on their board or not that you remember? No, no. It's a month no, ago. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Short term memory issues. <laughs> Fifty plus and I got nothing. Ish. <laughs> it's it's a gorgeous I mean this is a murky brown. You can't see through it. You know, totally opaque even up to the light. Yeah. A uh, little bit ahead. Um, and it's actually holding the head pretty good for ten percent. Leaving some nice, I mean, it's clinging to the glass, so let's taste this thing. I don't want to keep smelling and looking at it. <laughs> Cheers, world. It's actually warmer in the glass than it is outside. Pete's got this thing at about 55 when he brought it over. There's malt. I get a little booziness on the back end. Yeah, a little little, little booziness finishes it up. There's a little bit of bitterness to, to balance that sweetness. Yep. I like this. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my first gut reaction. I like this. Yeah, that caramel, that... Uh, um, God, I, it, I get like oakiness towards the end with that hops. Yeah, even, you get without, an oak? Yeah, even without the barrel aging on this one, there's a little but bit is of this, that. Is this one barrel aged? No, even okay. without the barrel aging on this one. there It it tastes a little like it was barrel aged. There is but, an oakiness yeah. to it, no doubt about it. Something in the, the combination of the hops or the malt that gives it a little bit of that, that nice roastiness. Maybe they're uh, trying to replicate that other uh, small craft brewer uh, Anheuser-Busch and they're putting in some uh, <laughs> some wood chips to uh, make it a better craft beer. How about that Budweiser wow. you craft brewer son of a... anyway. Boy, well, calm, I got, calm, a, I got calm, a topic calm, there. Calm, yeah, boy. It's it's caramel, that maltiness at the start. I, I get the alcohol. I don't get it in the warmth. I taste it. I, I get that in it, along with that oakiness and the hops at the end. Are you getting any alcohol or? Yeah, there's a, I, I would describe it as just a little sharpness right yeah. at the, as it finishes. Yep. But this is overall, those, that, that sweet and that, um, Bitter from bitterness, the boy, it just, they, they hold a, hands really well. Yeah, it's a nice combination. It's a good combo. There's like a little, you know, and it's so hard for me sometimes to discern a, a toffee from a caramel from a, but the, there's all that little, those little sweet notes in there. This is going to be an interesting one when it's barrel aged. 
this will be interesting to see how it how it plays. But to watch this before yep. we do that, because I can see how this thing could just take off with more caramel, more vanilla from the. From you the get barrel. a little um, like a plum in this too. There's a, a touch of a fruit, kind of in the middle. I get, and I can't quite latch on to what it is, but something is there. There is, I, God, I, I would swear this is barrel aged. Just that woodiness, that oakiness uh, is right in there. I'm, I'm sure some of you have tried it. Uh, Jeff uh, from New England uh, Beer Reviews, uh, Dar, you're out on the East Coast. You East Coasters probably get this. You're in their distribution area. Um, if you've tried it, put down what you're getting. This is, uh, there's, there's a lot going on in this. Um, Still a lot of carbonation, I know. too. It's well um, carbonated. What? Uh, give me a number. Um, I would say compared to a couple of the other uh, barley wines we've had, this is not the best, but I would say it's probably an eight seven five or a nine. Okay, that's about where I would be. I think I'm a liberal, uh, a liberal voter on this thing. Uh, this thing ranks. Uh, this is a good barley wine. Uh, it's not barrel aged, so I can't compare it to like a Commander or. Uh, Trying to think some of the other stuff I've done, but this is like a nine, nine out of ten easy. Okay. If not a nine point two five, great beer. This is an A beer. Um, I really like it. This is one I could sit and on a cool day sip this. This will be a good afternoon sipper. <laughs> this will help get get my voice back. Um, hey, if you guys have tried it, uh, uh, put some notes down. It's uh, Rock Art Brewery. Where was it again? Morrisville. Mo Morrisville. Morrisville, Vermont. Rock Art Brewery. The Vermonster. Their barley wine. Hopefully I'm getting that on camera. It's kind of hard to see. Here come our ducks on final <laughs> approach. Our mallards are back. Uh, so it's happy days out here. 10% is good. Hey, thanks for sharing another beer with the world. We appreciate uh, everybody checking in. Cheers. Cheers.